Imagine living in a country where your child, playing with a metal ball they found in their own backyard, could suffer great harm when it explodes in their hands. Imagine a place where going to farm your land can put your life at risk, where cooking your family dinner can cause your house to go up in smoke. This country exists. It is not at war, but yet millions of people are living there with the daily threat of unexploded ordnance. Welcome to Laos. On June 9, 1964, US Air Force fighter jets dropped the first bombs on Laos. It was the beginning of a nine-year secret war aimed at destroying the North Vietnamese supply routes along the Ho Chi Minh Trail and stopping the emerging communist forces within Laos. Between 1964 and 1973, 580,000 US bombing missions took place in the skies over Laos. This equates to a plane load of bombs being dropped every eight minutes, 24 hours a day for nine years. At the end of the war, more than two million tons of bombs have been dropped on Laos, making it the most heavily bombed country in the world per capita, a staggering title that it still holds to this day. Most of the ordnance was dropped in the form of cluster bombs. Released in casings, cluster bombs are designed to split open mid-air, ejecting up to 670 individual submunitions, each the size of an orange. Just one cluster bomb could distribute enough submunitions to blanket an area equivalent to several football fields, killing or maiming anyone in their path. However, their destruction did not end there. Around 10 to 30 percent of these cluster bomblets, amounting to approximately 80 million of these cluster bomblets, failed to detonate. And many still lie in wait on the ground in Laos today. They are known as bombies, and even decades later, they remain a lethal threat to civilians. Unlike landmines, Bombies do not explode when they are simply walked upon. Most often, they are detonated when a farmer accidentally strikes one with a hoe when tilling a rice paddy, or when children throw them back and forth as part of a game. Sometimes they explode when they are tampered by scrap metal scavengers, or even when cooking fires are built near to where they are buried. Since the war ended over 40 years ago, bombies have killed or injured more than 20,000 persons, 40% of them children. This continues to be the daily reality of the people of Laos. To reduce the devastating effects of this painful legacy, every day throughout the country, over 3,000 men and women are conducting UXO clearance work. Thanks to their work, as well as ongoing mine risk education programs. The number of new casualties has dropped significantly over recent years, from 302 in 2008 to 42 in 2015. However, survivors of UXO accidents also need support. In 2012, their number was estimated at 15,000. Many of them are amputees requiring medical, rehabilitative and psychosocial services over the course of their lifetime. With the financial support of institutional and private donors from around the world, COPE and its governmental partner, the Center for Medical Rehabilitation, are able to assist about 1,000 persons with physical disabilities and mobility impairment every year. In the years to come, funding permitting, they hope to provide even more free, high-quality prosthetic devices to UXO survivors throughout the country. This war has had long-lasting effects on the development of Laos. We cannot change the past, but we can try and ease the present for UXO survivors and contribute to a better, safer future for the people of Laos.